We have arrived at Orchid Acres. We may be late in the season to find the orchids, but we're coming to see. These are, I guess, wild orchids, eh? Is that what they call them? Lady Slipper. So we'll take, take a tour of this nice path, which they ask people stay on the path so as to not destroy orchids. Diane said we should be able to see a few. And we got our trusty old bear spray with us again. When we come to these places, we like to bring our bear spray. See some wild roses. Yeah. Nice little flowers. We're looking for orchids. More wild roses. Oh, there's some lady slipper, a lot of them. Wow. Look at that. I'll try and get close to them. Look at that. Lady Slipper Orchids. Hmm. That looks wild, eh? Look at that. A whole lot of them. Now look at these. What's that? That's a rosebud, eh? And look at this orange one. Yeah, I was looking at that. That's just the start of the rose tree. Huh. Oh, it's a fungus going on. A fungus? Some fungus. Fun guy. That reindeer moss. He was giving us a botanical lesson. There's a whole bunch up there too. Yeah, there's there are a lot of wild orchids. Look at that. Beautiful. And I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes. Which Tina said, oh, we don't need the spray. <laughs> now these purple ones, what are these? I think those are a type of lupin. There's the Arctic Lupin, the Yukon Lupin, and another one I can't remember. The name. All right. Well. Beautiful here. After this, we're going to go to a roadside lookout that overlooks the city, Dawson City. First time we take the van across the ferry. Yeah. So far it's mostly mosquitoes. Well, this is the first time we've really been bothered by mosquitoes yeah, since we've been here. Yeah. The campground being in downtown Dawson probably helps. Yeah. Yeah, they're in full bloom right now. Yeah, they are absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. They're smaller than I imagined they would be. Me too, me too. The pictures made them look 
god figure. Yeah. Oh, look at them all over here. Yeah. Now the rain's starting. I don't know how long this path is. I got my rain hat on. Wow, beautiful. They ask that we do not pick because it's a seven year cycle. Yeah, it takes seven years for them to bloom. So don't pick them, don't touch them, just look. Leave no trace. A lot of medicines in the forest, you know. And I have no idea how long this path is. Nope. Well, we could be could be taking on a big endeavor. 12 kilometer path. Or it could be one kilometer. <laughs> we have no idea. We're lost. The other day we went on a uh, fish fish wheel tour. A three hour tour. I thought last time I heard of a three hour tour was Gilligan's Island. <laughs> yeah. We were laughing about that. But it was a really good tour. It was a great tour, fish wheel tour. Yeah. We went to Tommy Taylor's home. He showed us his home. Beautiful cabin. And he he took it from Dawson City and brought it like five kilometers down the river. Yeah. And he's established his home there. He had a food cache. That's like a cabin up on stilts where you keep your food in. Oh, those are nice. Nice flowers there. Who'd have known in my old age I'd turn into a flower child? <laughs> <laughs> Flowers are nice. Sometimes you gotta stop and smell the roses. Is it one of the joys of life? Look at these. Yeah, these are like little mm. blue bells. That's kind of the loop on the ground. Huh. Those blue bells are neat. Boy, the creator was quite the artiste. Beautiful garden to walk through here. Yeah. Call well, this the Klondike Garden in the Yukon. Thunder in the distance. Big nest, I wonder what that's from. Squirrel. <laughs> yeah, squirrel pipes in. Get away from there. We're still going down. You know, we the more we go down, the more we gotta go up, eh? fungus or something on the rose. Wild rose. Wild rose, that's the flower of Alberta, eh? Berengia.
I'll work it down in there. Well, I'm glad we came here. Okay, it looks like the path's turning now. Maybe it's going back up. I think we're halfway down to the Yukon River. It's interesting, you're already starting to see red coloring, eh? Oh, and the leaves, eh? I know. It's only June 22nd. Today is June 22nd. <laughs> it's already red. Yesterday was the longest day of the year. Yeah. We didn't get out yesterday onto the Midnight Dome. <laughs> yeah, we walked along the river. We went to see the show last night at uh, Diamond Tooth Gertie's. Good show. Very entertaining. We'll put up a few pictures. If you come to Dawson, go to Diamond Tooth Gertie's. It's a casino, and it's it's got sh a show, a dancing and music show, like a Can Can Girls. Yeah, they go through a history of the music. It is very well done. Yeah, it was a good show. I gotta say, I laughed. <laughs> I cried. Well, I cried when I spilt my beer. <laughs> <laughs> Twisted trees. Oh, wow. That's a mystery as to why the trees in this area are crooked. Huh. Snow loading. Both Forrester and Trondek Witchin stories have a few ideas. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Okay, that is. And there you can see a crooked tree. Yeah. Wow. I wonder if it is from snow load. Yeah, there's quite a few crooked trees. Wild. Yeah, we're so busy looking at the flowers. I think it's earth magnetics causing it. Yeah. Beautiful. There's so many orchids. Wow. Well, the mosquitoes almost picked me up and flew away with me. <laughs> well, we're getting low there. Look at, there's the river through the trees. Nice view of the Klondike River, actually. Or the... I keep calling it the Klondike River, but it's the Yukon River. Klondike River flows into it. We're going to take the kayak down the Klondike River at some point. <laughs> and, and try to get off before we hit the Yukon. <laughs> Well, we're going to do a little bit of the Yukon, but only about half a kilometer, and then we're going to beach it, and we'll be downtown Dawson. So that should be cool.
There's a lot to do here in Dawson City, I'll tell you. If you ever come here. I'm not sure if that is bear root or the wild sweet pea. Ah, which they look alike, eh? One is poison and one's not. Bear root is a medicine. Yeah, if you come here to Dawson City, nice. Give yourself uh, at least two weeks, three weeks to really explore things around here. There's so much to see. If you could spend a summer, all the better. Like, the people are amazing. The places, the sights, the change in seasons. We've seen it go from like a winter, well, end of winter into this spring and now summer is just about full out. And look at this beautiful river. Wow. Steamboat Sloth. Huh. This is beautiful. Many people paddle this river from Whitehorse mm -hmm. all the way out to Dawson. Yeah, I saw a whole, what was it, it was like seven canoes that came in yesterday. Yeah. People unpacking and unloading. A big group of people. They, they looked tired. <laughs> they usually take a week to two weeks to do it. Mm -hmm. They take their time. But there is a uh, there's like a race that they have, and they say they do it in two days, from Whitehorse to Dawson. And it's because of the current. The, the, river, the river has a strong current. Used to take the steam, steam stern wheelers, steam boats, used to take them 48 hours to get from Whitehorse to Dawson, and then it would take four days to get from Dawson to Whitehorse because they were fighting the currents. Yeah, definitely a beautiful part of the world. At one time you had big mammoths, mammoths walking around here. Mm -hmm. It's like saber-toothed yeah. tigers, they, they exist. Yeah, saber-toothed tigers. When we go to yeah, beavers five feet tall. <laughs> when we go to Whitehorse, yeah, beavers five feet tall. <laughs> when we go to Whitehorse, uh, we're gonna go check out that Berengia Museum. We could only see the outside when we were there. Definitely want to go see that. Mm. So sometime uh, we're gonna spend a few days there. I guess next month, go get another load of groceries. Trip to yeah, it'll be a chance to get away, maybe for three days. That sky looks pretty gray up there, yeah, and it's coming our way, so we better get off this uh, path and get back to the van. Yeah, as beautiful as it is here. here. <laughs> yeah, it is beautiful, it is beautiful. and uh, the water always looks muddy. Chocolate milk. Yeah. When we were on the boat, you could hear it rubbing the bottom of the boat. It's silk. The silk, yeah. That is not a beach. <laughs> Over there. Yeah. Do not go swimming there. It's not a beach. It's like quicksand. Yeah. Yeah, Tommy Taylor told us all to be quiet. <laughs> and he said, Do you hear that? So those are eels under the boat. And I believe them. You should have seen Tina's face. <laughs> Knowing that I know of the Ottawa River, of course, would go, oh! And then he laughed and Anything said, I'm ah, just possible. kidding. <laughs> He's a good character. All right, now we're going uphill.
Now they look out. Trochek. Confluence of two rivers. So it's at the heart of their traditional territory. It's a national historic site. This was their fishing grounds. Across there you can see the Klondike comes in from behind that mountain. Yeah. Wow. And that's the yeah. Klondike River coming in, pouring into the Yukon River. That is wild. That storm's getting closer. Better get moving. Oh, what a beautiful place here. Oh yeah. This is awesome. Yeah. Rock check. It's the heart of the Trondike territory. And then there's uh is it Father William Judge? Yeah. He left quite a legacy on this land. Most definitely. Yeah. He built the hospital. He did good work. He came here, helped the, the sick, and then he got sick himself. He died in his 40s. 49. He's buried here in Dawson. Came here in uh, 1898. Established the church and the hospital. <laughs> Many plaques and yeah, many facilities dedicated to them. Oh, that's neat. What's that? It's another type of group in there. Have we seen fireweed? is the flower of the Yukon. Yukon, bigger than life. That's the slogan, eh? Bigger than life. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Here. <laughs> Beautiful here. <sighs> yeah, highly recommend a vacation in the Yukon. You won't regret it. No. Just give yourself a whole summer to do it. There's a lot to see. Yeah. We haven't even gone up the Dempster yet. Or the top of the world. This is only a few kilometers up the top of the world. Top of the world highway is, it's a highway that's built on the top of the ridges, of the mountain ridges, as opposed to going through valleys, which is how most highways are built. That's why they call it top of the world highway. And it apparently has awesome views 
we were going to go yesterday, but it was cloudy and overcast. And I think we're better to go on a, a day that has a clear blue sky. Yeah. And we can enjoy the views. It's a hundred kilometers or so to the U.S. border. And then it carries on, keeps going to a town called Chicken. Chicken was named after a bird called the ptarmigan, which tastes like chicken, but the old timers didn't, didn't know how to say ptarmigan and could never remember the word, so they just called the town Chicken. Uh, top of the world goes across the border to Chicken, Alaska, which turns into the Taylor Highway. But uh, we're going to go as far as the border. When we get to the border, we'll turn around and come back. So we're going to—we're not going to cross the border. We don't have passports. Not yet. So that'll be for another day, another journey. Well, it looks like we made it, I think. Frozen ground, permafrost, yeah. A lot of this area is covered in permafrost permanently frozen ground. <laughs> the gold miners they have to they have to melt the permafrost in order to get through it. Oh out of breath again. I guess it was a false summit. I don't see the van. A rare sight. Look at them all. Thousand, thousands of spotted lady slipper orchids. Wow. Beautiful. Just the right conditions for them. Yeah. Well, and there you have it. That's our walk through. Orchid, what's it called this path? Orchid Ridge. Nice. The best part is the smell. Oh, the smell of the forest. That's one of my favorite parts about being out in a deep forest, is the smell. Yeah. The cedars, the pine. Well, not much cedars here though. When we're in the rainforest, we smell it. And here we are. We made it. Nice, uh, nice railings using branches. Well done. All right, and there's the van. So, how did you like Orchid Acres? <laughs> That's what it's called. Orchid Acres. Beautiful place. And there we go. That's where we went.
Nice. Two kilometers. Yeah, 2K. <laughs> we went 2K. All right. <laughs> well, we'll see you after. Ciao for now.